So what are you doing, video Jeff? Well, I'm marking out everything with my tape measure and I want to get everything the same. So I kind of came up with the idea of two and five eighths or two and a quarter down and then five and a quarter. You have to you have to look at the little handles and make sure you know what they are. Do one first to make sure you don't mark everything wrong, let's say. Okay, once I get the marks, then I take my scratch off and hold it right in between the two marks, and then I can take my hammer. I usually like to get the scratch all that has a little metal button on here, but I didn't I couldn't get one of those at the store. This one eventually is gonna break using it too much. But anyways, now that I have that, if your pencil marks are too far, you can just take it off with your thumb. You know, or after you drill a hole. And make sure you use a nice sharp drill bit. And you can use a a drill like this with an extension cord or a battery operated one. My battery operated one, I wasn't charged all the way, so I'm just using this. And make sure you get the right tip uh, drill for your screws. I, I, I had to try a couple different ones before I came up with this one. Now that I have it marked, before you drill, before you mark in, before you put your scratch off, make sure that you're marking in the right place so that you know which way the door opens because you could make a mistake. Okay, now I can just hold it there. And then when I get it, I'm just going to ream it out a little bit. Just a little. You want a sharp drill bit because you don't want to eat out and create some slivers and splinters of this on the back. Mind you, the, the screw has a flat head that will cover up that and it will be on the inside. That's why I like to try to get a sharp drill bit. That's all there is to it. And you know what I didn't do just then? Just what? my bucket. I just go like that to catch most of the sawdust. And I didn't do that. Damn it, man. Now I've got to sweep all that up. I just bring this along with me. This one I've already got marked. And make sure. Once you get all done, obviously you open up the door, you're going to have to sweep out the edges of, of the cabinets and you can get a little paintbrush. I got a paintbrush with a little uh, dustpan and you can catch that or use this, whatever you want to do. Try to keep the mess to a minimum. Okay, then it's about, it's all about putting the screws in and everything. And if your screw is just barely off, you could take the drill and ream one down or up. We had to do that on one, didn't we? Yep. But if, if you, once you drill and you ream it just a hair, that gives it just a little extra slop. But you want to look on the back side of whatever kind of door, door pole you have in case you don't have much clearance. You don't want to make this, the mistake would be getting this hole too big and then after you put it on, you see the little edge of the hole after you got it on. That's the last thing you want to do, okay? There are some tips for you. Thank you. Go out there and drill some holes. Now here's a little tip for you. When you're, if you're going to do this little project, as you're putting these handles on, lots of times the, the little bumpers on the inside of the cabinet doors are missing or little they're loose or halfway broken off. If you feel that and they're nice and sticky, you want to clean that stuff off. Clean all that off. Go to the store. Maybe this is the right time to redo all of your bumpers. Just get all new bumpers. You, get, you can get little felt bumpers or you can get little rubber bumpers. Anything like that. Go to your local hardware store and see what they have for cabinets. And you can usually buy quite a few of those. And then you can do all of your cabinets. Make them look nice and pretty. Okay. I hate it. My pet peeve is closing a cabinet, cabinet door and then hearing it 
go like that. You know, you want a door to be nice and soft to where you can't hear that at all. All right, another tip for you. Yeah, I wonder what the next project's gonna be. I'm not done with the door handles just yet. This is just a quick little thing of what I'm gonna do. This is a very nice door, but, and it's kind of slick when you open the door. It's got, yeah, I'm opening it. It's got a lock at the bottom and at the top. See that down there? Down there, it, it pops out. That's kind of slick. It to, when, once you close it, you pull the door handle up and it throws that one out. And then there's one up at the top of the door too. You see up there? That comes out right up there and there's a little pocket in the door jam. This is for added security, see? There's a, there's a latch there as well as here. There's a regular door latch and a deadbolt. And there's one down there. Well, when you close the door, it's all supposed to lock properly right here at the handle. So you pull that up, those throw, but then you can turn the deadbolt. You can't turn the deadbolt. You can't turn it until you push that up and do that. Well, what's happening right now, when I close that and pull up, these aren't latching properly, so I can't throw the deadbolt because the door is sagging. The door, the door is sagging just enough so that I can't get that pin in and on the side. And if you've been watching my videos and hope you have, you will see how I've fixed sagging doors before. But see, the gap right here is pretty big and it's a lot smaller at the bottom. See there? Not as much. The door is sagging just a little bit. You can't really tell very much, but you see on the edge here, the line gap there is smaller than at the bottom. See how big the gap is at the bottom? Now most doors aren't exactly like that. They're closer, but the idea being Let's see right now, for me to lock this door, to pull up, I have to pull up on the door because I'm lifting the door just a little bit. Now I can throw it and latch the deadbolt. Now, now it's locked. But I can't have my mother do that every single time. So that's on the next video or somewhere just beyond this video I'm showing you. Keep watching my videos and you'll see how I fix this door.